See, not so far away. This is something I have to say I, to be completely frank, start to hate about Guild Wars. The enemies are clustered together in groups that are just, just about the same distance away that it takes for them to be aggroed into, a, well, joining in on the attack. Yeah, but it's not like other games don't. That crap about it has to be strategically correct or something like that. If you have another, shall we say, defense, then please state it. I don't, but I'd just like to point out that this is not a, a problem unique to Guild Wars with this type of games. Do I have to tell you a story how many times I've been fucked over in World of Warcraft because my character could only find one enemy at once and if one other showed up by, you know, walking close by, I would get screwed and wouldn't be able to run away because all enemies are faster than you? Well, the whole thing about enemies being faster than you, I can see, is quite unjust. The whole thing about you only being able to fight one opponent... Because I was a mage. What? Because I was a mage. So you were a mage and uh, you were not continuously killed by opponents. Strange. I do not really believe playing a mage that much in World Warcraft, but I think I remember being able to kill an opponent from a distance with all my spells. Oh, sometimes you would get lucky and kill them at a distance, but not necessarily. Well, yeah. Anyway, I think we also ended up screwed over because there are a couple of patrols in the area that wander around and we got hit by a couple of them at once. Yeah, and who is it that keeps sending off those arcane spots up on the minimap? It's sort of annoying. It just says that here's our, our supplies, so we can find them again. Ah, uh, I see. Okay, and no need to engage any of the patrols, regardless of how much we want to see their species exterminated. Actually, I am trying to avoid it. I just don't know if we can. Yeah, sorry, but sometimes, I know I say that I have a tendency to be bloodthirsty, but sometimes I had you under suspicion of just going, Hey, there's still one of their numbers bleeding. I say we take this huge way around to kill it. I would imagine it would be obvious by now, but that's not the case. Yes. I said I had you under suspicion, but luckily, you do not validate it. Their healer's almost down. There. The poets will write epics about this day. Uh oh, enemy patrol coming in fast. Very fast. Wretches. But at least they are not boxes. I actually think. These don't have a Gartner with them, I think. Yeah, no Gartner. They do not. I still remember back before when you mentioned that, oh, you had mistaken one of their, shall we say, number for another. Yeah, I mistook a Gartner for a Gatherer. Yeah, it is sort of obvious what they are, although I think the whole Gatherer and, well, Guardian thing are sort of difficult. I believe one of them is wearing, well, they're wearing the same kind of armor, but at least the Gardner are wearing some kind of, you know, what are those things called in Japanese, you know, those that you write different uh, signs on and then you can walk around with them on your head to ward off against evil spirits. I don't know, but things that might be obvious to you is, is possibly not obvious to me. As you say, you're much more detail-oriented with such things. Indeed. So I just see a giant rat and it seems like this, it says God, uh, Gatherer, which I know is an archer type. Yeah, and that's... sometimes, I must be completely honest, I feel like making a Rafiki and basically hit you over the head with my staff until you realize you need to be able to tell the difference. Okay, the melodic gaki is right here. What? Melodic? Melodic gaki. Hey, what? Yeah, you remember? Sorry, but, that, sorry, but that name just sounds so ridiculous. But we need part of it so that guy can make um, instruments. And um, let's see. I think ah, it's it's wandering around this tower. So we just need for it to come over here where it is far away from the others. And when we strike, there it goes. It is a uh, uh, thingy. Attack the thingy. Is, uh, is, is it a goat man of some sort? No idea. Okay, we got some wardens incoming. 
Give me a moment, I need to pick up the horn. War Wardens! But yeah, no, that's not good. I'm not sure. Let me analyze it afterwards if the court will at least stay. Uh, yeah, it looks like a mix with. No, wait, a savior. Is it a savior? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, it looks like it at least. Yeah, okay. I was a bit confused about the fingers, and I thought we were dealing with some kind of swan ish. Kind of. Okay, and I have the Warden of Sacrifice here trying to calm my face in. Um, so yeah, that's that, that's not nice. Do run away from him if need be. We'll try, we'll try. Oh, I thought we'd deal with two of them, but it turns out he can tell them. And what a wonderful guy. Yes, because he's willing to be killed by lousy birds. Box, you maniac. Oh dear. Always I have to do everything myself. Okay, this is getting annoying. Would you just die? What the hell is a sacrifice anyway? I have no idea. There we go. And we cleaned out all the wardens here in the game. Alright, let me pick this gaki horn up and then we can move on. Now, what else did we need to do here? Ah, we need to... Alright, we need to deliver something to the blacksmith and talk to a guy about the black moa. Dun dun dun. Now, if we cross over here, we might avoid provoking those wardens over there. Operative word, might. We may not, because in a the moment they're going to attack us, I am definitely sure. Wait, now they're incoming. Yep. And we have only two. And we found your hand held inside. Oh, and we also triggered a bunch of Oni at the same time. Oh yeah, but uh, you're hard to hear, I'm sorry, it's not intentional, it's just noise. Yeah, I need to put some distance between me and the Oni. But... And I'm sick and tired of how much I die in this session. Well, at least it looks like the Wardens and the Oni are not allies. Great. I will order a trumpet when I feel like some... Uh... You know what? This is just ridiculous. Actually, it's going pretty good, all things considered. Yeah, but still. I want to be able to breathe when we are out on a mission, not to worry for my life every five seconds. I'm starting to become bitter. Yeah, and I also think it's strange because you're always worrying about the life in or out of side of the game. Yes. Anyway, Johann Schuhelzer. Quiet, I think I heard something moving in the bushes. Yes, I know of the Black Moa. It's an evil creature to be sure. Some say that it roosts in the depths of the underworld and claws its way to the surface to feed upon human flesh before returning to the pits to spawn more of its accursed offspring. I am afraid that Rutger was wrong, however. I do not know where the Black Moa resides. Go to Melandra's Hope and speak with Eric Lutgardis. He was with us when the Moa attacked. Provided he hasn't purged that wretched memory from his brain, he could tell you more. And here's the Master Smith we need to talk to. Give me a moment. Uh, but can I read? No, wait. I would like to understand the story. I just needed to close my windows because, you know, my neighbors are sounding like shrieking apes. Ah, I see, I see. Well, I already I'm activated him, so, I had, so I'm kind of on the screen, but I wait. Okay, can I read now? Yeah. This spirit essence is from Andre, you say? Andre, when, how would you pronounce that? Andre? Andre. And Andre. Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. Let me. It's not myself. Andrev. Andre. Andrev? Andrev, I believe. You certain? Very certain. 
I drift it is. So, his research was successful. At least, in part. I used to be his assistant. Did you know that? Then the Luxons attacked. And my wife and children. I lost everything dear to me that day. I couldn't eat or sleep for months. Finally, my house redemptor came to talk to me. Helped me realize that the gods had a plan for me. And it was my duty to follow it, so... Bah. Enough of my life story. Thank you for delivering this. Come back soon, and I should be able to craft you some weapons imbued with the spirit essence. Alright, and that finishes up, uh, well, no, actually, no. Okay, I think I also need to add a little to this. Master Smith Rodka also says, We humans are but leaves blowing from place to place. The gods are the winds that determine where we shall land. Yeah. Yeah, even for a religious person, I have to say, I'm sort of questioning that. That's what some believe. You know what I really do not like about the whole thing with gods? Do it speak up your mind? It's because I do not feel like being a puppet on a string, just being tacked along to some kind of predestined fate. No, but some find that comforting. Okay, it is your fate to be eaten by a bunch of piranha fish. I will do it because the gods decree it. Exactly. There is a plan with everything. And sometimes it's not even God. Sometimes some people just believe that everything happens for a reason. And right now we're attacked by Luxans while we are fighting off these guys, bozos. So, um, yeah. White Tiger suddenly decides to start numbing up me. Well, this looks like everyone's out to kill us right now. But we are depleting them, so I think we're pushing back. We're pushing back. There are lots of rangers in there. In uh, the leaves. Alright, here we go. I really do not think the Luxons have that strong of a, shall we say, a military spirit. One of their battle cries goes, you can't defeat us all, which would sort of indicate that they, oh, if I am struck down, another will take my place. Well, yeah. Some also find that comforting. People find comfort in anything. True. It's like when you told me that people can have a fascination for everything. And all of a sudden, I just came up with a conclusion. How about one of those steel, or by any kind of means, metal bars that, for say, you find around in Skyrim? I mean, seriously, it is just a piece of metal. I don't think anyone would find any attraction or comfort in that. Have you ever heard of automobile erotica? That's a thing. Just FYI. No, I have not. Well, now you do. And we managed to sneak around that group. Alright. Well, there's still some walking to do, but uh, we're getting there. Oh no, one of the group started to follow us. A big one. Well, they should be in a moment. Nah, just kidding. <laughs> okay, yeah, so they got me there. Uh, let's see. Could you just imagine a horde of wardens just basically bearing down upon us and, you know, being sort of, uh, well, in the hundreds? Actually, I could imagine that. We've been through a lot, haven't we? It is times like these that make my soul reflect upon courage and loyalty, the sort of bond that develops only between those who have shed blood together. A warrior could never ask for more stalwart followers than I have found in all of you. That's actually a pretty big compliment. Yeah, he also said that the last time, although in a smaller statement. But yeah, for someone as arrogant as Lucas, I appreciate it. All right, we got some wardens here. Oh great, and Luxons have shown up again. They really enjoy trying to... Well, weaken us with the whole warden thing and then sitting in their own. Yeah, but I don't think they allied the wardens. It's just like they see two sides... Like we did with those gangs, remember? Except they're attacking directly instead of hanging back to attack the weakened parties. Yes. And 
and I just got flanked out of place. Oh, yeah, I tried that too sometimes. It's never nice. By the way, Lucas, I have to say, it's a very good name, but I thought about how his name would be 100% awesome. Yeah. Image? Yeah, I will tell you in a moment. Imagine him with the full name of the following. Lucas Van Draken. <laughs> okay, you know what? That actually does sound pretty cool. I have a thing for names. <laughs> 